Hi, I'm Mrs. D. Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to cover scatter plots in eighth grade math. So we can graph bivariate data on a scatter plot that shows the relationship between the two data sets with points. If you can't remember, we did discuss bivariate data in another video. You can find that linked below. But bivariate data is when we have two paired variables that we are comparing and they have some sort of a relationship. So we're going to see what those relationships mean. So here we have bivariate data and the data can be based on collecting information from two events that may or may not have a relationship. And we are able to make that relationship by plotting the points on the graph and then we can tell what their relationship is. So here we have the price of an item in the table on the left, and then on the right we have the number of buyers. The price of the item goes with our X, and the number of buyers is our Y. So here we've labeled all the points on the graph from 318 all the way to 15.2, and we can see here the relationship between the price of the items. As the price of the items increases, the number of buyers decreases. And what this is showing us on our graph is that this price increase and number of buyer decrease is causing it to go in a downward direction, which is going to be negative. So this would be a negative relationship. So let's look at some ways that we can interpret these scatter plots. Scatter plots can have clusters, that's data that is closely grouped, or an outlier, which is a data point different from the rest of the data. So if we look at this first graph, we can see here that as the data is increasing on the X, it's also increasing on the Y. And I can clearly see that I have some groups of data points that are kind of grouped together. Those would be called our clusters. Then if we look at our second graph here, again, our information as the X is increasing, the Y is also increasing at a pretty steady rate. I have a cluster here, and then I also have this one out here by itself. This is the one that would be called an outlier. All the others are within just a couple of points from the rest of the data, but this one right here is pretty far away from the data. Sometimes you might have one over in this direction to the right. Anything that is not in that particular trend or that grouping as far as the direction of the points would be considered an outlier. Scatter plots can also be described by their association of the related data. The data is either positive, negative, or it has no association. So if both the data representing the X and the data representing the Y are increasing, you're going to have a positive association. If the data for the X is increasing while the data for the Y is decreasing, you're going to end up with a negative association. So this one in the middle, the negative association, is what happened with our first example, where as the price of the item increased, the number of buyers decreased. And then last, sometimes we might have data that doesn't have any relationship at all. And in this case, we would say it has no association. The points are scattered all over the graph. There is no way to find any sort of a trend or a line where they kind of follow in particular. We don't have really any clusters. Everything is just an outlier. So if you have no way to tell if it's positive or negative, then it has no association. Thanks for joining me today for scatter plots in eighth grade math. I'm Mrs. D Math. Have a great day. Bye.